What's going on guys? This week we're going to be reviewing the Meat Man box, an animation throwdown. First up is the legendary power combo card, Meat Man Sculptor. This is a great pre-combo card. While its attack isn't anything special, its 67 HP is one of the highest in the game for pre-combo cards and it makes an excellent candidate in any defense deck. On top of that, it has some really nifty skills as well. The 10 Bodyguard is great to protect it and your other cards, and the 9 Hijack is also very useful to help you keep your opponent's cards from crazing out of control. The 5 Heal All is also a great skill as it isn't limited to any one particular show or trait. Running multiple quad fuses of this card can be an excellent heal wall for rumbles and challenges. Now let's take a look at the items. First up is the new Zap Brannigan Portrait card. This is a pretty awesome item. Its stats are fairly well balanced, but its HP isn't too low to run defensively if you need some more art items to balance out your deck. The 7 Motivate can go to any card, which is great, and the 10 Cheer is also really nice. Though keep in mind that the Cheer can only go to fellow art cards. The 10 Gas is a nice touch too, but keep in mind you probably won't get too much use out of it during the current round of the art BGE, as the bonus up for the Bodyguard will block a good chunk of it. Next up is the new Ghost Boy card. We covered this one in last week's um, review video, but to recap, it's a fairly average card stat-wise, but I wouldn't recommend running it on defense normally, as its 44 HP is on the lower end. Though with the added bodyguard buff from the art BGE, you might be able to get away with it for now. It's got some very useful skills with its 5 cripple all and its 13 leech to help it try and keep it itself up. And the last item is another new one that we covered in a previous review. To recap, Peter's drawing is pretty similar to Ghost Boy. It has some average stats and its HP is far too low for defense. Its skills are top notch though. Like the Zap Portrait, it has 7 Motivate and can go to any card, and it has some Hijack as well to help keep your opponent's cards in line should you need it. The 4 Heal All is also great for during art to give you some healing support, but again keep in mind the heals can only go to other art cards. For an in-depth analysis of the combos that you can make with these cards, as well as all of the other artistic items in the game, be sure to check out my complete guide to the Art BG video. The links will be in the description and at the end of this video. Now let's take a look at the characters. First up is Bill. The legendary version of Bill is an offensive monster. While his HP is really low, he has one of the highest attack stats for a base card. Not to mention he has 5 craze to make him grow even stronger. Try not to leave him be too long though, as his craze doesn't mean anything if he gets taken out quickly. His 7 bomb is also a nice touch, and his 10 shield, while being limited only to King of the Hill cards, is a great boon for a siege island. All of that combined with the fact that he makes a lot of very nice combos across a few different BGEs makes him a great character card. And the other character card is Klaus. This one is more of a specialty character. His attack is way too low to run on offense, but his 60 HP makes him one of the best base defensive cards in the game. Skill-wise, his 10 gas is a nice perk to have in a defensive character, though it's not guaranteed to hit because of his low attack stat. The 11 recover is very nice though to help make this already tanky card even tankier. The shield all 4 only applies to American Dad cards though. All of that combined with the fact that at this point in time he doesn't combo with too many items across too many BGEs and the fact that he doesn't come in very many boxes is why I categorize him as a specialty card. His primary use will be defensively during select BGEs and on an American Dad Island. One thing I do want to speculate though is with the new animal trait coming out in a few weeks, I have a feeling we'll start seeing more use for this card. It's only um, speculation, but I have a hunch that they will be retroactively granting the new trait to older cards, and I have a feeling Klaus will be one of those cards among others. I also have a feeling that Brian is going to be either the next new legendary or mythic card, as he's another one that I think that they will be retroactively granting the animal trait to. Like I said though, this is all just speculation and none of it has been confirmed. Now let's take a look at the epic pre-combos. First up is Taxidermy Artist. This is a pretty decent pre-combo. I don't see it as being very useful at the pay to win level, but can see it finding some success at the free to play circuit. The stats are pretty balanced and its skills are alright. Its 6 Motivate can go to any card, and the 7 Sturdy and 8 Recover can help keep it alive. I wouldn't bank on this card helping you to get great scores in Challenge or Rumble though, but it can help you in Adventure and Arena fights to help you just get that win. And the other pre-combo is Life Drawing Haley. This is another actually pretty decent one. The stats are pretty average, nothing too special. What really makes it interesting though is its skills. The 9 punch is pretty alright. 
and the 7 boost means that with some actual combos on the side to support this card, after a few turns it can become quite the monster. On top of that, it has 10 heal which can go to any card, and it's that skill right there that piques my interest. Though its initial stats aren't anything special, a wall of these that's also paired up with other healing combos like Draw Me Tina, Art Student, Meat Man Sculptor and the like would give you a pretty good and effective heal wall for challenges and rumble. So my final thoughts on this box is that all in all it's a pretty great box. The legendary power combo is a great utility one that will be usable outside of the art BGE as well. All of the items are the new art items and you'll be able to make the stronger combos with them. The epic pre-combos aren't actually half bad either, especially the Haley one, and both of the characters are great characters to have. However, even given all of that, I'm still going to rate this box 4 out of 5 turds. The one thing keeping it from being a perfect 5 is that while both characters are really good, neither of them combo with any of the items in this box. In fact, they both only combo with one art card, and that's the old Buzzsaw card, so it makes their usefulness for art extremely limited. Despite that though, if you're still trying to finish out your art deck, I highly recommend pulling this box, especially if you skip the Brian statue box. If I wasn't already set in art, I'd most likely be pulling it myself. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the review and found it helpful, please click that like button. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Till next time guys, peace.